The World Youth Festival is the largest youth festival in the world that was held by the decree of Russian President Vladimir Putin and is entirely funded by the Russian Federation. The World Youth Festival brought together enthusiastic young people from all over the world from March 1st to March 7th, 2024 on the Sirius Federal Territory in Sochi. 20,000 young people, including 10,000 foreigners from more than 180 countries, took part in the week-long festival. At the conclusion of the festival, the foreign participants, randomly chosen, visited many regions of Russia from Kaliningrad to Vladivostok to Crimea. This documentary records the visit of 40 foreign delegates to the Republic of Crimea. On Saturday, March 9th, the delegation arrived at the train station in Simferopol and were greeted with flowers and a traditional Russian, Ukrainian, and Tatar dance group before heading to their hotel. For five days, our guests from 20 countries got acquainted with the culture, the history, the people, and the sites of Crimea. The group departed from Simferopol to the southern coast of Crimea, making a brief stop at a scenic overlook above Laspi Bay. From Laspi, the group departed to Alupka and the Voronsov Palace, a magnificent castle designed by a Scottish architect, Edward Glore, almost 200 years ago. It was the summer residence for Russian aristocrat Michael Voronsov. A museum for 100 years, it contains works of art and original decorations. Voronsov is a must-see because of its historic and artistic value. During the Alta Conference in 1945, Winston Churchill and the British delegation stayed in this palace. After lunch, overlooking the famous castle called Swallow's Nest, the group continued to the Masandra Winery for a group tour and wine tasting. The winery was built by Count Lev Golitsyn in 1894 and was commissioned by Tsar Nicholas II. There are one million bottles of wine in its deep cellars, including the oldest from 1775. Throughout the past 130 years, through revolutions, wars, and political disturbances, the winery never stopped operating. On Sunday, March 10th, these 40 delegates visited the 500-year-old city of Bacchisarai, which once was the capital of the Crimean Tatar Islamic Khanate. They visited a zoo and an outdoor museum showing miniature creations of important sites across Crimea. Later, they visited Dormitian Monastery, a 1,000-year-old cave monastery above Bacchisarai. After lunch, the tour continued to Ipatoria, a 2,500-year-old city in western Crimea that is home to the four major religions, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and Karait, all of which exist peacefully in Crimea today and therefore is referred to as Little Jerusalem.
We strolled through ancient streets, visiting old Turkish baths, a mosque, a synagogue, an Orthodox church, and a temple for Islamic monks called Swirling Dervishes. On Monday, March 11th, we visited the Krasny concentration camp, where during World War II from 1941 to 1944, 15,000 civilians were murdered by German Nazis. We then proceeded to the Crimean Federal University in Simferopol, where we visited a library containing rare books, including 15th and 16th century manuscripts. We then visited the House of Youth in Simferopol, where Young volunteers make materials to support the special military operation. A master class was given on how to make stretchers, camouflage nets, and bracelets. An evening of dinner and dancing ended the day. On Tuesday, March 12th, we visited the new Islamic Mosque in Simferopol. The Simferopol Cathedral Mosque is the largest mosque in Crimea. All rooms of the mosque can accommodate 3,000 to 4,000 people. The main hall can accommodate about 1,500 men and 900 women will be able to pray on the balcony. The Cathedral Mosque implements classical architectural forms of Ottoman architecture to which new Crimean Tatar ornaments were added. The mosque also includes madrasas, schools and libraries. The Cathedral Mosque is being built with the money of private investors, the nonprofit organization Foundation for the Support of Socio-Cultural Projects. In total, about 6 billion rubles were invested in the construction. The mosque has four identical minarets and a dome. The height of the dome is 28 meters. The diameter is 18 meters. The area of the mosque building itself is 1,369 square meters. We then traveled to Artek, an international children's center, a former young pioneer camp on the Black Sea in the town of Gorzuf. It was established on June 16, 1925. We were greeted by the principal of the school and several students who explained the educational program and then we were guided on a tour of this state-of-the-art school that features science, math, physics, art, and language learning with modern labs and equipment.
Artek is the largest international child center in the Russian Federation and has been recognized as the best among the camps of the Russian Federation. of the grounds included participation in a ceremony remembering students of Artec who lost their lives in the Great Patriotic War. It is a tradition at Artec to make a wish while touching and hugging the 200-year-old sequoia tree from California. We then saw a monument of Samantha Smith, the 12-year-old girl from Manchester, Maine, in the USA, who became famous for writing a letter to the General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Yuri Andropov, asking why our two countries were enemies in close to nuclear war. She received a personal reply with an invitation to visit the Soviet Union. Samantha spent two weeks in Moscow, Leningrad, and Artek, and remains at the very heart of Artek today. Samantha and her father were tragically killed on August 25, 1985, in a small airplane that crashed short of the runway on final approach to the Lewiston Auburn Municipal Airport in Maine. She was only 13 years old, yet, her legacy lives on and is cherished in Artek and throughout Russia. On Wednesday, March 13th, 
we travel to the Tavrida Art Camp. On the way, we made a brief stop for coffee, snacks, and to use the restrooms. Arriving at Tavrida Art, we had to pass through security before entering the grounds. We were greeted and led on a walking tour of the extensive facilities. Today, Tavrida Art includes up to 15 different alternative schools in different areas of art and culture. The organization selects those who deserve the opportunity to grow and realize their potential. Members of the delegation left messages to Russia and the Russian people before being treated to dinner and entertainment by two singers in the Tavrida Art Program.
Угощаем вас сейчас тоже вкуснейшими блинами. Выходила на берег Катюша, на высокий берег на крутой. Выходила на берег Катюша, на высокий берег на крутой. During dinner, several members of the group posed to have caricatures drawn by local artists. There is also an annual festival called Tavrida Art, a platform for music, visual arts, theater, literature, and choreography. And there is an art park that attracts vacationers and tourists. We then took a long walk through the park back to the bus and the return to Simferopol. stopped for a quick dinner with Crimean Tatar food at Akaya before returning to Simferopol in time to catch the train to Moscow. Before departing, several interviews were conducted, asking delegates about their impressions of Russia and Crimea, why they came to Russia, and what they learned. To a person, each one said their eyes were opened, and they had discovered an amazing country and a friendly people, unlike anything they had been led to believe. Hello, my name is Irfan and I am from Indonesia. I'm a student at University of Indonesia majoring in computer science. So are you happy you came? Yes, I'm very excited. I'm very uh, grateful to be here. What are your impressions of Russia now? Russia, ah, it's very, it's very perfect. It's very beautiful to be here. Did your idea of Russia change now that you've come here from Indonesia? Well, yeah. Uh, my friends uh, back then is really sc really scared. What did you think about Crimea? Were you afraid to come to Crimea? Well, at first I was so afraid, but now it's really beautiful. It's it's like a hidden gem in here. My name is Prema Lama. I'm from Nepal, and I'm doing uh, politics in Nepal. I'm a youth leader. Did your idea of Russia change now that you have come here? Yes, it's it's different. 
when we heard about uh, Russia is uh, very scary but when we came here it's a very 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 beautiful country what about Crimea what are your thoughts and impressions about Crimea uh, in my country uh, the other people says uh, Nepal is a living museum and I saw here Crimea is also a living museum are you happy you came to Russia yes. and Crimea yes I'm so happy my name is Mazen and I am from Jordan and what do you do in Jordan I'm a medical doctor a graduate I'll be graduating this year what did you think about Russia what did you discover about Russia I discovered that the people of Russia they are so nice like we were having a stigma about Russia I guess this is because of the media uh, but now after coming and visiting Russia it's full of culture so many nice places and it's so big uh, I was here like for two weeks and I have seen like only maybe one percent or less of Russia what did you think about Crimea what did you learn uh, it's uh, it's such a nice place uh, full of uh, full of like uh, beaches, mountains, uh, the Black Sea and all of that. Were you afraid to come here because of the war next door in Ukraine? Actually at the beginning when I was accepted to come to Crimea I was afraid and my family too but I wanted to give give it a chance because I'm here with many friends and with Russian government so uh, so I give it a chance and I, I, I never regret it. It is so safe here. It's, it's, not, it's nothing like I was imagined. Did you have to pay for this or did Russian government pay for all of this? Uh, this is a fully funded trip. Uh, I haven't paid anything. So you're a political activist? Yes, I'm a political activist. And against the government or for peace or what? Oh, no, not against the government. Um, like for the uh, social justice uh, that everyone can have uh, the the rights recognized and uh, effectively. So what did you have to do to, to come here to be accepted? Oh, I just passed a few questions. I have to talk about myself and I thought they liked my profile so that's why I ended up here in Russia. What did you think about Crimea? Were you afraid to come here because of the news? Oh, at first I didn't want to uh, to come, but then when they told me, hey, you, your regional program is in Crimea, I felt excited, actually, because um, I wanted to discover how Crimea really was, and this is such a nice and peaceful place. I've seen uh, that all people I met live uh, peacefully, and they are not worried, and they are so proud of being part of Russia again. Is there anything you'd like to tell American people who will watch this? Oh, yes. Uh, don't believe everything that you hear <laughs> on the media. Hello, I'm Hood from the Maldives. I am a political scientist and a lecturer and professor at the Maldives National University. Did you have to pay anything? No, this was... Uh, I was selected on the basis of my work and the research work that I've done. As a political scientist, an academic, what, what did you think about Russia before you came here? I've been following um, Russia's historical development as well as the current affairs uh, somewhat, so I was aware of the general situation. However, it's been very eye-opening to come to Russia and meet with Russian friends and make new, new connections and new deep friendships. I wanted to come to Crimea primarily because I wanted to get to know Crimean youth and to see how they have seen from their experience the Crimean Spring and the reunification of uh, Crimea with Russia, how they feel about it and from what I've seen to the, with the people that I have spoken to, it seems that the Crimean young people are very happy to be part of Russia. They uh, believe that they deserve the right of self-determination to identify and to be part of <coughs> uh, the nation that they so choose. And this, I think, maybe is the best exercise of democratic uh, principles. So um, I know that we've been requested to uh, observe certain aspects of the federal president election in Russia. Uh, in the next few days, it's going to go forward. We had a meeting with the elections commissioner uh, in Crimea. Um, so I wish the best for the Crimean people and for the Russian people to have a peaceful election and to uh, decide the, their leader through free and fair elections um, 
that is uh, based on the democratic principle through the exercise of uh, their voting rights as guaranteed by their constitution and as per universal human rights. Where will you be an observer? What city? Um, I was able to, I was given the opportunity to meet with and look at the preparations in uh, Simferopol, uh, Crimea. Uh, however, we'll be going to Moscow very soon, so uh, we will be looking at some of the uh, developments of the voting in Moscow uh, during the program in Moscow. Yeah. Hola, mi nombre es Rocío Segura. Soy de República Dominicana y trabajo en el Archivo General de la Nación en el área de paleografía, transcribiendo documentos antiguos. Um, does she like baseball? ¿Te gusta el béisbol? <laughs> sí, mucho. <laughs> yes, a lot. Do, do you like David Ortiz? ¿Te gusta David Ortiz? Eh, lo conozco como muchos otros peloteros. Es un icono del béisbol. What did she think about coming to Crimea? Es un punto como muy importante en lo que es mi historia, porque soy historiadora y sé el valor histórico que tiene estar aquí en Crimea y saber y conocer sobre Crimea. What will you tell people when you go home about your trip to Russia? Eh, hablaré sobre lo interesante que fue compartir aquí en el festival, sobre lo bien que nos trataron las personas rusas, eh, su cultura, todo. You were happy to come to Russia. Sí. Will you come back? Sí, volvería, claro que sí, a seguir conociendo otros lugares. Mi nombre es Landers Dios Bella Rodríguez Cowper. Soy licenciado en Educación Intercultural Bilingüe con maestría en Educación Intercultural Bilingüe, Convención en Gestión e Innovación. Because he is uh, from the people of Chi people. He is uh, from the original people from Chi people. Oh. Um, how did he hear about this International Youth Festival? ¿Cómo conociste el festival? Eh, bueno, por organizaciones, porque yo también eh, soy coordinador de la Red Nacional de Juventudes del Perú. What were your impressions of Crimea? Did you want to come here? Oh, wow, eh, bueno, yo no sabía que iba a venir aquí, pero la, simple, la primera impresión fue que yo compartí a mis compañeros que me voy para allá y me, me bromearon que te van a reclutar, está haciendo para la guerra, eh, ¿no? Y yo decía, ¿cómo? ¿Qué? Pero yo dije, tengo que conocer cuál, en qué sentido lo hice. Para ir a conocer hay que vivirlo. Y vine y conocí, por ejemplo, la Universidad Federal de Crimea y otros sitios espectaculares que yo llevo un recuerdo. Were you afraid they were bombs on your head? Algo así, porque eran como que nos, nos tienen con esa idea y aquí vine a despejar todo. Were you surprised to learn the truth, the history of Crimea returning? To Russia with the Crimean Spring in 2014. Este, por ejemplo, puedo contar, ¿no? Anoche compartí una foto, ya la última, mi, mi, ¿no? La última eh, parada en Crimea y comenzaron a decir, ¿por qué no pones bandera de Ucrania? Y eso me sorprendió porque a mí no me compete eh, discutir sobre esos temas, pero conocer un poco más allá de Crimea y de volver de que han sido ahí una historia. Y a mí como persona me gusta observar de ambas partes qué es lo que ocurrió y, y tomar una reflexión, porque yo no apoyo las guerras ni en los enfrentamientos. Creo que los seres humanos estamos para buscar la armonía, el trabajo articulado, un diálogo profundo para seguir ejerciendo nuestros poderes en el bien de, de todo el ser humano. What did you learn about Russia now that you've been here? I've learned that people are incredibly nice and warming and welcoming. I've learned that they have a state that's uh, present in more ways than I imagined before and that it is uh, it is really good, it is a really good thing and people see the results of it. For example, here in Crimea I was talking to a Crimean girl and she was saying to me that before the war, um, before the war, no, before the Crimean annexion to Russia, the Crimeans were like poorer and didn't have like much 
uh, common services and they had like a rough life and that uh, even though there are it has passed a few years since uh, Crimea has been re reunited to Russia. They they already seen a lot of good changes. They have like, for example, uh, the the level of art deck and uh, a lot of other things that uh, have improved the life of the Crimean people. So that, for example, for, from Crimea has been really nice. And in general, you can see you can see like the economic stability and the the, the okay yeah, what what a, what a present state can do to the people that live in that state and it's wonderful were they happy did you find that Crimean people were happy of course of course they are happy I, I actually asked them exactly that like how do you feel about this and they, they are they, they told me exactly that I am really happy now and I've talked to several people from Crimea and they all have give me like good responses about it uh, so yeah I do believe they're happy would you like to come back someday I of course I would like to come back I believe we have missed a lot of things and yes I think I would come back definitely so you are Russian so you know Russian history Russian culture yes. I, I asked other people what did they think about Russia what was your impression of what all these other people from other countries how they felt about Russia and Crimea Oh, I think they really loved it and they enjoy the time here because the Crimea is very different and it's proposed a lot of different activities uh, to do. Um, what was your opinion of the youth festival? Was it really good, very important? Uh, yes, I think for Russia it was very important to show the youth of the world uh, uh, the Russian potential and how it can go and move uh, by a Russian way. Do you think that your government, Russian government, maybe is the only government in the world who sponsors youth projects like Artec for a hundred years and now these youth festivals? Are you proud of your country? Oh, well, of course I'm proud of it. Of course, it, our country is not the only country which supports the youth, but on a such level and with such dedica dedication, I think we are one of the only countries where a few, very few countries do on the same level. And why did you come to the youth festival in Sochi? I thought it was to be an incredible experience to get to know all Russia and Russia culture and Russian people because uh, in our country, uh, in Brazil and I think in the most of the the, the countries of the rest of the world, there is a bad propaganda against, against Russia. So we we don't know the truth. We don't know. We don't have uh, trustable news. So I I thought it was a great opportunity to come here and to, to to discover the truth by myself. And how did you find being in Crimea? At first I was afraid because there there are some news about bombing and and in Sevastopol and the Kirk Bridge. So I was afraid to come, but but I thought it was it was a unique experience that I could never had anymore. So I accepted and it's been a great experience. Crimea is beautiful. We visit a lot of places and that's that kind of stuff we don't have in Brazil with this with all of this structure and all of this this great education, so it's been a, a great experience to know Crimea and definitely I would I would like to come back to Crimea, I would like to come back to Russia, I would like to visit a lot of cities here and I feel, uh, I don't know, 100% more comfortable about being here, about knowing the people and all of the, and all of the culture of the Russian. And you are a student in Brazil, what are you studying? Yeah, I'm a medical student in Brazil.